In this exercise tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a barbell forward lunge. But we're gonna be doing this with a clean grip in this exercise tutorial. So what's the difference between a clean grip and what we'd call maybe a more traditional grip? Well, we're not gonna have the barbell behind the back in this position. We're actually gonna have it in front of the body resting on the clavicle. So you're gonna have the elbows up, like so, barbell in your hands, and you're gonna have this position where the barbell is in front of your body when you're doing your barbell forward lunges. Now, before we even get into the exercise, I'm actually gonna be using a squat rack here to demonstrate this exercise. Now, for those of you that are beginners, maybe you've never used a squat rack before, I completely understand that in gyms, this is an incredibly intimidating bit of kit if you've never used it before. So firstly, how do we set up a barbell to be in the squat rack safely? And how do we use the squat rack? So this, these two catches here are what the barbell is gonna go into. So they rest the barbell like so for when we do our exercise. Now, if you wanted to set them up, if you've got a new machine like I have, this here is, uh, it uses smart locks. So what we can do is we can pop the pin out and then we can move it up and down in terms of the height. Now, if you didn't have a smart lock or a pin on the side of your squat rack, you'll probably have the older version of the squat racks where basically you slide them up and out to bring them out of the squat rack. You could also slide them in and down to bring them back into the squat rack. So if, for example, they're lying on the floor and they're not in the squat rack, you have to bring them in and then place them down and they lock into the squat rack. So hopefully you have one or the other. Now, in terms of the height that you're looking for, a vague rule of thumb, okay, so you might wanna just change it for yourself, but is stand nice and upright, have yourself side on to where this is resting and make sure it's just below the top of the shoulder. So my hand here is resting on the top of my shoulder. This is slightly below. It gives me enough clearance to be able to bring the barbell up when I'm using a squat rack. However, it means that I'm not coming too far up where I'm having to go on my tiptoes or too far down where I'm having to come into like a horrible squat position to try and bring myself into my repetitions. So, what I want you to do, once you've got it all set, the numbers are equal. These have numbers on them so you know that you're not bringing one higher than the other. They're either on the side or the front of the squat rack. You bring the barbell into position and you make sure that the barbell, one, is nice and in line and two, it's not off center. Now, from here, I'm gonna show you this way just so you can see on the camera. I would have my hands in a position where there's shoulder width apart. I then bring myself with the bar into a position where my elbows are nice and high, the bar's resting on my clavicle, and then I'm going to go into my repetitions. So I've shown you that so you can see it on the camera. Now I'm gonna come into my proper position, which is facing this way, facing towards the squat rack. Exactly the same thing. Chests up nice and high, elbows in line with shoulders or just below. And from here, I'm gonna come into my alternating repetitions. So each time I come into my reps, I've gotta keep my chest up high, always looking forwards and not down. Big stride forwards, back leg comes down. So imagine the back leg is coming into a kneeling position and you do each repetition nice and slowly, big stride forwards, having a little hover off the floor with your back leg. Once you're done, you rack the squat, rack the bar into the squat rack, and then that's you done. So alternating for your desired amount of repetitions, keeping the chest up, the elbows nice and high, either just below the shoulder or in line if you have the mobility. From there, you then wanna make sure that you're keeping the core braced, glutes braced as well when you're doing each repetition. So that's how to do a clean grip forward lunge using a barbell on a squat rack.